just a sec, okay? Okay, if he turns broadside there, put it high on his, right on top of his shoulder. Turn. Let me stop him. Hey! Okay. You hit him. You killed it. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> you were done, buddy. Congratulations. Oh, my ears are running. <laughs> my name is Brett Jels. I'm a uh, been an avid hunter all my life. When I got in my car accident with my disability, kind of took a little sidetrack, but I'm back again and I'm having a fun time enjoying it. I first went on an antelope hunt probably about seven years ago in the state of Utah and I took a 12 inch buck and I thought he was the biggest, thought he was a great buck. Then I read Mike Eastman's book and my view kind of changed on that and I realized that a 12 inch buck is definitely not anything, uh, anything close to a Boone and Crockett. I read Mike's book several times, um, and then I was lucky enough to draw in a Wyoming tag for a buck antelope um, in Unit 100 in the state of in, in Wyoming, next to Evanston. And as we were, me and my buddy Chris, as we were driving the hills, looking all over the place for antelope, we saw some smaller bucks that I definitely would have probably shot if I wouldn't have read this book. But we kept driving around and driving around. We drove around for quite a long time. And it finally we came across this buck that he just had, what Mike Eastman described in his book. He had mass, mass, and in length. He was a great buck, and we ranged him. But we took a look at him. We were about ready to pass, but my buddy Chris took another look at him, came back, realized he was something that we should definitely take a second look at. So we came back, took a second look. I got out of the truck, got in my wheelchair, and we ranged him, got a good yardage on him. Finally got him set up to where we could take the shot and he stood broadside for us. Chris whistled, got him to stop, got a nice decent rest, shot him with my 300 short mag that Guy Eastman recommended me for, my Savage, and dropped him right in his tracks. When we got him back to the truck um, and we kind of did a green score on him, he green scored at 82 and when I officially later after the 60 day drying period got him scored, he scored 80 inches right on the dot for Boone and Crockett. So I got my information submitted to Boone and Crockett, so everything should be good to go, and I should be in the record books here in the next little bit. But yeah, if it wasn't for this book right here, I definitely would not have persevered and hailed out for a buck of that caliber. I probably would have shot a couple of 14 to 12 inches that I saw at the first part of the hunt. My hunt would have been done a long time before it could have been. So yeah, this is a great book. I recommend it to anybody.